understand that the Emperor himself is personally overseeing the final stages of the construction of this Death Star. Many Bothans died to bring us this information. Uh, yes, question, question, question. What's a Boffin? Everybody come quick! Something's happened! No time to explain! I still want to know what a Boffin is! Two thousand years later. It was a blind Donnie Yang was a bunch of his misfits. Third of Boffins. There, explain. So yes, Star Wars movie, Rogue One, which takes place between three and four. Decent movie. Although I gotta say, the beginning of the movie was really, really boring. That kept on cutting to every single thing here and there. It was hard to keep track sometimes. Not really, but a lot of cuts here and there. The movie didn't even get quite good until like the second half of the movie where like, I'm gonna call him R2D2, CC Prio's uh, better cousin and his band of married misfits go off to that planet to do their thing. Basically, the Boffins, all these guys, they all die sacrificing themselves. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Seeing uh, CGI young Carrie Fisher was pretty cool, even though she only had that one line of saying, oh, hope, as she looked off into the camera, setting up to the next movie. Yeah. Other than that, I can't say anything about, bad about this movie, because, like, like, okay, of course the beginning was boring as shit. And, like, they're describing the Death Star. When you see, you see the Death Star, it was pretty awesome. Also, when you got to see Darth Vader taking his bath, whatever the fuck that was, I swear, when I saw that tube, I thought it was Zordon from the Power Rangers because it looks like the exact same tube. And I'm thinking, like, wait, Zordon is from the dark side this entire time? And then the tube opens, and then Darth Vader's brain sh is seen for a... A little bit of a second. But yeah, Forrest Whitaker in this movie didn't do much, just died. Like, er you know what? Everybody just died in this movie. That's the whole point. Well, the main cast. Yeah, Forrest Whitaker has a robot leg, looks like Don King, has asthma, can barely talk, barely used. The best character, though, the best character, though, was the blind Donnie Yen. For an old man, Donnie Yen can still kick ass. Holy shit. And were him and that guy brothers, best friend, lovers, what? Because well, when Donnie Yen died, the other guy was like heartbroken about it. They never did explain like best friend, brothers, lovers, what? What's going on here? So I like the cameo of that dude that was in uh, A New Hope that bumped into uh, Mark Hamill's Luke Skywalker. It's like, my friend doesn't like you. I don't like you. And proceeds to cut off his arm. But here's the thing, though. Those guys were on the planet that got blown up. So did they come back to life in A New Hope? Did they go catch a ship somewhere and drive off? Because those guys are pretty much dead. Because the planet got destroyed. And they were on that planet. So what's going on here? But cool to see that cameo, though. Even though... There's a big plot hole there on how it, they showed up in A New Hope in that bar scene to piss off Luke. I guess they weren't thinking, but other than that, oh, yeah, they didn't do the text crawl at the beginning. They did a long time ago, far, far away. That was it. They didn't do the Star Wars theme, which everybody was kind of pissed off when they heard that they were not going to do it, but it's a text crawl, who cares? But anyways, that happened. I'm surprised my feeder wasn't filled up since it's a Star Wars movie. And like every Star Wars movie, well, yeah. Just like last year, Star Wars movie was uh, Force Awakens. The never ending fucking commercials before the movie. Because you gotta make money on the biggest movie of the year, movie franchise. Again, it was this year like 10,000 hours of fucking commercials. Cut a cameo from C3PO and R2D2. Uh, yeah, that was pretty cool, yet no one laughed. 
No one got a shock when they saw young Carrie Fisher at the end. CGI Carrie Fisher. Not even anyone said anything to Darth Vader when he showed up. The Death Star, when it showed up to blow shit up at the end, everyone was like, ah, oh, fuck. Many Boffins died. So that's our answers who, who the Boffins are. Yup, that's our answers. But anyways, it's a decent movie. Go watch it. It's cool. It's good. It's watchable. Anyways, take it easy, Humanoid Nation. Humanoid freak out. Bye.